it's time now to do exercise six. And in this exercise, we're going to practice some of the skills that we've learned in this section of the course. So the first thing I'd like you to do is open the exercise file exercise6.xlsx. And then I would like you to simply format the table so that it matches the screenshot below. And you can see here we've got some borders, we've got some background fills. I've changed the font of the heading row and you can see on the right hand side the exact font I've used not only for the heading row but also for the text and the numbers within the table. And don't forget to apply formatting where necessary. Also note that we don't have any grid lines showing in the background. And then once you've done that, I'd like you to find and replace the grey fill colour in the total column with a different colour of your choice. So a few things to do there. If you'd like to see my answer, then please keep watching. So the first thing I asked you to do in this exercise was simply to format this data set that you can see here the same as the screenshot. So I'm going to start with the heading row. Let's select this control shift right arrow and I'm going to change the font to Dosis Extra Bold and we're just going to type that in. There we go. Now we need to apply the background fill color and change the font color. Now I could do this manually by selecting from the drop downs or alternatively I could use my format painter. So I'm going to select cell I5. Let's click on the format painter and we're going to drag that across this heading row to apply that formatting. That's a nice quick way. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the table font. So let's do control shift right arrow and then down arrow to select everything. And we're simply going to change the font to Georgia and hit enter. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out the formatting of the dates and also the amounts. So let's select the date column, go up to our number formatting, and I'm going to change this to short date. And then in the amount column, we're going to give that a dollar sign. And I think I had two decimal places in the screenshot. Final couple of things to do here. I'm going to select the amount column, control shift down arrow, and we're just going to apply a light gray background fill. And then the final thing to do is simply apply borders around the outside. So let's do control A to select everything. I'm going to go up to my borders and we're going to say all borders. And then the very final thing is simply to remove the grid lines. So let's jump up to the view tab and deselect grid lines. And there we go. That table is now formatted the same as the table in the screenshot. The final part of this exercise was to practice using find and replace to find cells with a specific background fill and replace them with something else. So I asked you to replace this gray background fill with a background fill of your choice. So I'm going to select this column, control shift down arrow, and then I'm going to press control H to jump directly to replace. Now in the find what area, we're going to go straight into format and I'm going to choose the format from the cell. So I'm going to choose this cell just here and then we're going to replace it with, let's go to format this time. And I want to make sure that I still have that Georgia font. So let's make sure that we still have Georgia selected. And let's choose a different background fill. I'm going to go for something fairly light. Let's just go for this light pink. Click on OK. And we can do replace all. OK and close. And there we go. We've replaced that background fill color. That's all I needed you to do. I hope you got an OK with that. And I will see you in the next section. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for Beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.